Uh, let's look at one more example on probability tree. Okay. 60% of the of a class are boys. 40% of the of the boys in the class take art. 55% 55 of the girls in the class take art. Find the probability that a person chosen at random from the class is a girl who takes art. So yeah, there are uh, informations about first boys and girls and then from boys who take art and from girls who take art. So let's draw the tree diagram. So the first branch is uh, boys and girls. Okay. I need to read the sentences very carefully. 60% of the class are boys. So I'll write B for boys. And so if 60% is as a decimal is 0 0.6, how many are girls? So there are two possibilities, either boy or girl. So if 60% are boys, 40% are, 40% is, is girls. Okay, now the next part is 40% of the boys. So you're talking of boys. 40% of this take art. Okay, so from boys you have two branches one who take art and one who don't take art. So I'll write like this for the different colors. So this is A for art and A dot or A dash for those who don't take art. Okay, so let's complete the branch. So it says 55% uh, sorry 40% of the boys who in the class take art. So 40% as a decimal is is 0 point 40 percent who take art uh, is 0 point 4 so if 40 percent take art how many do not take art that 60 percent is 0 point 6 so let's complete this branch 55 percent of the girls in the class take art okay so again you have two branches think about it I can pause this video this this is a, that's a very good skill of learning whenever you're listening to me I would like you to stop the video so these are the girls so how much you got girls who take art and girls who do not take art okay so what's the probability of a girl taking art 55% of the girls take art so this is the branch of girls 55% take art is 0.55 so 45% do not take art. Okay, so you got four branches. So this is, these are, let me write all the outcomes so that you understand, then it becomes easier. So this is BA. Now what does this mean? This is, this is, let me write the title here. So this is the outcome. And I'll write the probability. I'll not write the final answer. So let me change color. So let me use, say, violet color. So this means this is the outcome of a boy doing art or taking art, studying art. Okay, so the probability of a boy, first is boy and taking art. So whenever you have the word and in probability, it's a good technique to remember. It's this branch. So you got four possible outcomes. And one more thing I'll repeat here. The addition of each branch should be 1. So 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 is 1. 0 0.55 plus 0 0.45 is also 1. This is also 1. And the total of this outcome should also be 1. We'll confirm that. So this should be 1 or 1.00. So the probability of this is the outcome of a random student, a random select selected student to be a boy and taking art which will be 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 which is 0 0.24 this branch is the probability of a boy not doing art so p a dash that will be 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 which is 0 0.36 this is a girl taking art so we'll write g a which is 0 0.4 times 0 0.55. So I'm going to need a calculator. Oh, 
let me take this on this side menu run 0.4 times 0.55 is 0.22 so this is 0 0.22 and finally this is say g a dash means a girl not doing art which is 0 0.4 times 0 0.45 now think about it, can I write this without multiplying this? If I know the total probability is 1, how can I write this? Just for to check your brains if it's working. It is 1 take away the total of this, so I'll check that later on. So this is 0.4. This is also a good way to check whether the probability tree that you've drawn is right. 0 0.18. So this is 0. 1, 8. So these are the four branches. So let us check our, whether the probability tree is right. So 0 0.24, sorry, 0 0.24 plus 0.36 plus 0.22 plus 0.18. Okay, that's one. Okay, you can also go 0 0.24. Some of you may be thinking, why didn't I put a zero? You can put. It doesn't matter. The calculator does understand the zero. Uh, 0 0.22 plus 0 0.18 that will give you 1. So this probability tree is perfectly fine. Okay, now let's answer the question. Uh, find the probability that a person chosen at random from the class is a girl who takes, who does not take art. A girl and who does not take art. So this is a girl who does not take art. We already know the probability, which is 0 0.18. Now, the next is a student. This is very crucial. A student who takes art. So, this is a very tricky sentence. It only doesn't say boy or a girl. It says student. That means a student can be a boy or a girl. That means this is a boy taking art and or a girl who is taking art. That is what it means. A student means it can be a boy or a girl. A boy taking art or a girl taking art. Now, what's the probability of a boy taking art? That is 0 0.24. Or means you have to plus. And what's the probability of a girl taking art? 0 0.22. It's pretty simple. That is 0 0.46. Okay, so this in terms of percent is 18%. And this in terms of percent is 46%. Okay, let us do one more question. Now, this is a bit tricky question. So let's read the question. 32% of the boys in the class take art. So this is very crucial. 32% of the boys take, take art, also take Japanese. So we have to start from here. We have to ignore this part of boys and girls. Okay, so we are starting from boys who take art. So we will draw the probability tree again because you are ignoring this branch. Okay, so this is a very crucial because the starting is boys who take art. Okay, we are starting from boys. So we'll draw the probability tree again. So we're ignoring the first branch. So this is we're talking about only this branch. We're only interested in boys who take art, take Japanese. So we're ignoring all other branches. We're ignoring all this. We're only focused on this part. So the boys who take, we know the probability is 0 0.4. We're not going to this branch. Okay, that's the crucial thing that you need to uh, read between the lines. Okay, it is the starting point is the boys who take art. Okay, so that is the starting point is boys. So, oh, so I should have written boys here. This is boys. You're starting from boys who take art is 0 0.40. Okay, boys who take art is 0 0.40. Of those, 32 percent take Japanese. So this is 30 some 30. 32% take Japanese, which is 0 0.32. And how much do not? So 32%, 100 take away 32 is 68. So 
So 0 0.68. This is 0 0.68. So let's read the question. We are only focusing on this part. What is the probability that the, that in the class that take art, that means you're talking about this branch, okay? What's the probability that uh, who take, what's the probability in the class that take art also, let me read the question. Uh, yeah, what's the probability in the class that take art also take Japanese? I'm reading from, yeah. What is the probability that a boy, I should have written, uh, let me rewrite this sentence. What is the probability that a boy, I should have written what that, what is the probability that a boy, I didn't write the question well from a book. What is the probability that a boy in the class will take art, uh, I should have written, but not Japanese. Sorry for uh, this mistake. Question was, you could have you could have done this. Doesn't matter. But the the emphasis on the boy. So the starting point is boy. What is the probability that a boy who is taking art does not take Japanese? So we are talking about this branch. So the probability of a boy. Okay, taking art, this is the probability of a boy taking art and not and not taking Japanese would be 0 0.4 times 0 0.68. Okay, I need a calculator which is 0.4 times 0 0.68. Right, so that is 0 0.272. So the final answer is 0 0.272 or in terms of percent this is 27.2 percent.